I'll follow them around, and I'll be back in five to take over. We're gonna okay. get some gifts. Thank you. No problem. No problem. I'll be my back. Thank you. Hi, sorry. Do you mind if I... I don't mind at all. You guys do what you gotta do. Oh, One, thanks two, very much. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twelve. Okay, good. Uh, Roger, look close to the camera. I don't want to see it profile too much. Nothing personal. Just that it looks better if you <laughs> into the camera rather than... Ready? I'm, uh... I'm a... Eric, first of all, your uh, last name? It's yet B-O-U-T-H-I-L-L-E-T-T. Okay, so what's the situation here? The this is NCC land, and uh, what's the situation in terms of how long you guys are staying? We will remain here. We're not leaving. Nobody asked us to leave, and at the moment we don't have anything to say that we have to leave. We're gonna have new foundation to make sure we can pass winter here, and we're gonna try to help the people for the next festival that's gonna be happening here. Because the main goal is not to block them; it's to be hand to hand with the citizens of the city. We're not against anyone, we're against the system, so uh, we're all brothers and sisters working together on this. Um, more people here today than the last time I was here, for sure, uh, but someone went through the other night and said like more than half the tents weren't occupied. No, they're all occupied, it's just as people are doing back and forth. I have my whole tent here because I'm doing Montreal and Ottawa at the same time. I'm going to try to reach Toronto too, and that's why we're having tents now because all cities are going to be able to connect to each other so we can all talk together because that's a movement for Canadian worldwide people and we need to work together, not in our little cities. Place. How are people going to manage to stay once it gets cold and the snow stops, starts falling? By the same way that we believe in your cause. If you start to step back on what you're fighting against, you already lost your war. This is a big fight, that's a long fight, it's all across the world. It's, it sucks because it's in winter that I agree with that, but you know what, in spring, we're going to have thousands of people here. But do you think it will manage to survive the winter? It will survive the winter, we have to be positive in life. If it's too cold, we'll organize a certain way. I agree that minus 40 is minus 40. If we have to step up a day just to come back stronger the next day, I mean one day, we're not leaving anyway. Okay. Um, is there a danger that the movement's sort of running out of steam. There have been the problems in Vancouver with a couple of deaths. There are efforts in some cities to get rid of people. And it seems the story now has become about um, conflicts over whether people can stay. And the, and the whole message is being lost. Where? Where, where do you see that? I see it okay, in all we, the coverage. Or is that the media's fault? Seriously, you guys are covering a little bit weird because if you look at Vancouver, what happened is one person had an overdose, if I understand well. One street next to it, there's 125 person a year that dies of overdose. In Montreal, we got a beautiful press because we have a nice message. Press, media don't seem to cover the same way in Ottawa. And in Vancouver, even the Montreal newspaper are defending the occupiers in Vancouver. So we have to stop focusing on the, on the bad things. There's people who are addicted to drugs. Why? Because the system rejected you. There's people who are homeless. The ones who don't want to be homeless got rejected by the system. We got mental health issues. People got kicked out by reforms in any health system across the country. Quebec is a good, uh, back in the 80s, we had the same problem. So that is a picture of what we have dealt with. Try to help them because some of them are showing up here, they don't have shelter, they're cold, freezing as hell. I think we have to remain human somehow. They have places for them, and sadly, if they're not going there, I'm not going to let a human being die here in freezing. But, but the story does seem to have become um, about these conflicts between occupiers and the people that want to get rid of them, rather than the message. That, that's what's getting most of the publicity. Whose fault is that? Maybe because of covering the wrong things. Ask me a question about the economy. I'm going to talk about the economy. Goldman Sachs. Why are systems all corrupted? Why do the crooks in Quebec, here in Ottawa, and are taking decisions like Bill C-52, C-10? They're going to round up people, 25% of the population at that speed. Because you're poor, you got a little problem with issues or whatever you are, an activist, they're going to call you a terrorist now. Any people can be called a terrorist now in Canada. That's what we should be covering, not a little situation that you guys think is the best thing to cover. There's many, many discussion groups running around the country. I'm able to tell you because I speak with people from Vancouver, Toronto, Ottawa, Montreal. 
So it's and in I, a way you're I, saying it's the media's fault, the mainstream media's fault. But the thing is, if you look at Halifax, what happened? You just covered they got kicked out. But what about the cop that beat up the girl? She was in coffee and was punching her in the face. That's the thing that you do not cover. You keep covering that people are bad. It's that sad because I think you guys in the media are fighting for you at the same time. Your life is not as much as beautiful as you think. It goes from middle class to middle down. If you're a rich person, so somehow, yeah, right. way, the life we're living at the moment seems to be an illusion. To think that everything is beautiful and everything is okay, but it's not. It's just because the Prime Minister keeps saying, oh, everything is okay, but they're passing a bill on their back. They're laughing at every citizen in this country, trying to take um, the economic system just itself. Before you get money for your own community, they're going to give money to McDonald's and corporations like that. And that's McDonald's itself, but it's just many corporations like that. And in the end, the little man that makes this country live receive a little thing if you're lucky and if not, yeah, you don't receive it. And the, the community problem here in Canada and the problem between people comes out of the economy. Oh, if you're poor, you, the rich are going to look at you and it's like, look at him, he's a junkie. Well, why is he a junkie? Because probably the system got him there. I'm not saying they all, I don't want to generalize like everybody is homeless due to problems. Some of them is their lifestyle, that I respect that. But for the other, others that got rejected by the system, why don't you guys cover that instead? That would be very interesting to work hand in hand. Come at workshop here, we get deep discussion. I'll be the first one to ask you guys to cover that because you need to bring that information back all those people here in the mass, they are the one that needs to be reached. And sadly, media keep bashing on Ottawa and bashing on any other place. Why does Montreal is so strong? Media are behind us. I have police officers that come and gives us money because they support the movement. The firemen support the movement. We got soldiers that are behind us. In Ottawa, it's like people trying to bash and destroy something that people are trying to build so we can change and make a better world. And hoping it works. And that's why the battle along the all along it won't last two, two, three, four, or five days or a month or a year. It might last five years that we have to remain from the front ground. If you don't remain front ground and just do protests around the block with yelling two slogan, you don't affect anything. They don't care, they laugh at you. Now we disturb people because we're bringing it and we leave it there permanently. Technically, why would they want us to leave? They don't want to be brought down and told that they have corruption. And why send, instead of sending our CMP agent to look at us, why don't they investigate like Quebec? The corruption, get a Rizzotto family walking in City Hall, or Quebec Parliament, no problem, but they own our government. Yeah. So it gets to a point that somehow, some way, I know the press is tied up by a leash, they cannot always come out with what they want to. That's the problem you guys have, and I respect that, but you really need to stop censoring some stuff. There is things that we're fighting for. It's not to say we're the same in the military mission in Libya, but we did we drop missiles and bomb. What a military mission. The United Nations say if you kill a chief of state, it's called war crimes. What we do, we hire a mercenary and we kill them. And Gaddafi was standing against the IMF because he wanted to bring gold. He wanted to bring gold and his money so Africa can survive on itself. And it's important that Africa can have its own money and they don't need to depend the government or the U.S. or any empire to run their own country. They get their own resources that you know, grab from them, they bring it here so you guys can watch a good hockey game between Montreal and Ottawa, Montreal Toronto, beat the crap of each other because you're drunk, but at the same time you're losing your rights and we're invading countries. Who's dying over there? Only civilians. Afghanistan, why are we there? As the opium field, are uh, protected by uh, soldiers. I'm not going to say which one, it seems to be a problem. We get, um, pipelines going to Afghanistan because Iran they wanted to have pipelines going yeah. to Iran. But we're you know what all good so points. No, but but we're getting yeah, we're getting yeah, a little off see? topic. No but no no that's yeah, yeah. what you have to cover. Don't yeah, come yeah. and ask me if we stay here all winter. I want you to bring that news to people. That's what people need to know. I always think that we're going to war to fight soldiers. I'm sorry it's always civ civilian that dies. We have a few soldiers that die from Canada. It, it's a disgrace to those guys to send them for the wrong reason. They're, they're dying for the wrong reason. Okay, Eric, good. And you made the point about the media, and I'll put that in. Right, it's not against huh? you personally. I no, know no, there's somebody behind you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, no, it's, no. We do what we have to do, and you know, but it's a good point.